Hello and welcome to a video that for once is not about me. Before we start, a small disclaimer, which I'm sure we all love. I am known for being somewhat blunt and have, on occasion, had various spicy takes. The following people that I am soon to mention have no bearing on what I say and do not necessarily share my thoughts and opinions on varying matters in or out of the game. They are their own people, with their own thoughts and views, and my personal feelings do not in any way reflect on them. That being said, my personal opinion here, but if you're wanting to learn and stay up to date with the awesome interactions and how things work and the unique instances they can work in, the following people are absolutely best places to do this. Each of these people have, in their own way, had a direct impact on the core of the content I do, which is trying to inform the division community how things really work and interact. Now, there are many people I could add to this list. However, these are the ones that have had the biggest impact on me and I feel that you should know their names as well, if you do not already. Some of these people I am in direct communication with, others I just lurk in their streams, where some I just stalk Discord and religiously read everything they say. The following people are not listed in any particular order, but Let's get started, shall we? We just call him Doc, and this is very much a story of now the teacher is the student. When Doc first joined Bros World, he was barely SHD 500 and had shown an early interest in speedrunning. We had a lot of communication and various interactions within the game, and then seemingly a month later, he is over SHD 6000 and is in a top tier competing speedrun team and has recently taken to streaming and has proceeded to teach me various interactions in the raid as well as new strategies in which to help upcoming raiders. Bo is probably the funniest person I know in the division, exceedingly chill and always up for a laugh. If you ever raid with him, be prepared to have zero clue what's going on, everyone keeps dying and you're still scratching your head as to how you have not seen a boss yet. Though you are clearly on the final boss, Bo is a little bit of a troll. He has fun, he enjoys the game for what it is, will leave your head spinning as to what the hell just happened, but will still get you through an Iron Horse raid in about 40 minutes. He does have a serious side, though this is typically when he is competing for the best time. He is always willing to take a break, so that he can have a laugh with his viewers. Stella is the result of a government issue AI chip optimised for division implanted into a gamer and then turned up to 50. And at 50,000 plus SHD level, Stella really shows his experience in the game. And it is absolutely mind boggling to watch. Pre aiming enemy spawns, flick of the wrist reaction time, and the weirdest collection of builds you will ever see. Where most of us will argue certain weapons and gear pieces are bad or not worth it, Stella makes them work, and better yet, Stella makes them look meta. After some time watching this genius play and a few times getting 100% carried, I have to come to the conclusion that there is no meta. Meta is just Stella. Okay. 
一开，二开，二收，那个主在这边，开了，开收，哦，漂亮哎、欸，对，不错不错，没水哦，别凶。后面一堆狙击手，开始。Of course, Rise is on this list. In fact, if it was not for Rise, there would not even be a me. I probably would have quit on this game some time ago. Rise is just hands down the best player I have seen, played with, and personally know. He helps his community continuously and has been involved in teaching his entire clan how to complete both Iron Horse and Dark Hour Raid. Gives gear pieces away to party members despite needing them himself, helps optimise builds, carries Wony runs, offers sound advice and has even been a test dummy for me so many times at this point. It is a sure thing that the community that I have gained would not exist without him. And without him, I wouldn't know any of the people on this list, and I probably would be even more clueless about this game than I already am. Okay, just go for it. Why not with a shotgun? Huh? Don't die with a shotgun. There we go. Uh, if I, if, okay, I, I love that more and more women are very pleased and more and more. You can have a charge now if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Before we start on the lovable character that is Hunter, let's address something really quick. He does not. I repeat, not need a ravenous for his fourth character. He has like 20 of them in his stash. Hunter is amazing. In terms of kindness, he could kill you with it. Always calm, genuine, willing to help, and I would argue the absolute embodiment of the spirit of gaming. When he is not mercilessly slaughtering us with his kindness and humble words of wisdom, he has us on the floor in stitches. Hunter deserves his own fan club, book deal, anime, everything. RPG yeah, there's an RPG in the middle, that's why we're not getting anything. Who took the what? RPG in the middle? Oh my god! Yeah. Someone is really trolling here. Who? <laughs> Haven't we like enough radio practice yet though? I don't know. <laughs> no, man, bro. I must have done rail yard now. Fuck me. Never enough, never enough. Oh, he's inviting me. <laughs> he's like a machine. Yeah, I'm already in, though. Like, kind of it's it's the really started, look! Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why everyone shoot at the head? Wow, Zerenix. Wow. Oh my god, Zerenix. Holy shit. He shot the head. He shot the head. He shot the head. Right, we are coming to the final four, and I do apologise for the length of this video, but as I've alluded to, I would not be anything without the direct or indirect guidance of these people. So I feel it's only right and fair that I bring more attention to these people. 
They are tantamount to the damn Illuminati of the game. They know all, see all, have a spreadsheet on it, and have probably completed it in world record time. They also give me permission to use their socials, which you can find in the links for the, in the description below. Along with links to all the socials of each individual person mentioned here. Now there is a Vroom YouTube channel, and the YouTube channel itself is very new. Though, if I know Vroom like I think I do, you should 100% follow, as I can guarantee it will be filled with all of the awesome. Just all of it. Very soon. Rez is actually one of my stalking victims, which you'll be thrilled to know when watching this. I've probably spoken to this person maybe three or four times, but I have read everything they put in Discord, in the streams of others, and pay very close attention to their own personal streams. Speaking of streaming, Rez is also a fan of Forza, which he streams on the regular, as well as he has taken his expertise over to Destiny as of late, and from what I have seen so far, Destiny doesn't stand a chance. Rez is like a fortune cookie, but you know, one that's correct. Every word is weighted with so much experience and knowledge that you would be forgiven for thinking that a Wikipedia page has become self-aware. Right, let me quickly stack. <laughs> I just killed all of them. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Tactical knock we had us up. Nice. Goes good. Alright, uh, overcharging. Grenade okay. in. Damaging. I got head. Do. It's capped. It's capped at that number. Is it? That was a crit. Yeah, that was a crit. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> It's capped at 1,889,984. Yep, it's capped. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of a self aware wiki page, well, this guy's probably the one that wrote the damn thing. The self proclaimed LFN token Brit has come to my rescue so many times when it comes to the nitty gritty tiny details of equations and intricacies of varying interactions. Getting into a debate with this guy is synonymous with getting into the ring with an in his prime Mike Tyson. Trust me, you have lost. Behind his overabundance of knowledge is a genuine, humble person who is easy to approach. Just don't approach him like I did. Arrogantly claiming obliterate is purely additive. I hold Hutcher in such a high regard that I am sometimes tempted to send him my videos before making them live, just so that he can double check them. As it is, we seem to have a workable unwritten deal. If I mess up badly enough, he lets me know while I scramble my tiny brain to figure out where I went wrong. And credit him in the correction. Trust me, he is absolutely worth knowing. I think I just killed the medic. So we're okay for us right now, right? No, the medic is now dead. He wasn't dead before. Oh, he has no shield. Take him. Okay, just roll out. Roll oh, out. Sir, take cover. Don't roll out take, take cover. my. Fuck you! Nice. Nice rocket ball. Oh, nice. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Why are we saying oh no? Whatever. You're so oh. close. Close to what? What do you mean? The ball. I trolled. Oh, that doesn't matter. This guy runs right, just as kind of so. Right. I need a minute to clip myself here. For me, Astro is an inspiration. The person that started me down the path of utilising maths in games is Astro. The utility of it, the capability it brings, the formulaic structure put before you to allow a team to optimise their performance and outline weak areas and improvements to be made. After this video, if you take anything away from this, please, I beg you, 
Follow Astro's links in the description and just watch one of his YouTube videos. The level of detail he is able to go into while making it so simple and easy to understand is unreal. The commitment he has to the community, the game is unbelievable. I am sure by now we have all seen the tables and graphs that show what materials are needed to upgrade weapons and gear at different levels. How much of each material is needed to level up your expertise. And there are so many more. Well, that was all Astro. Sure, some people have done others and copied them, but the original was Astro. How do I know this? I was in his stream for 18 hours straight, watching him do it and post his findings publicly. I personally cannot fathom how he is not the most subscribed to and talked about content creator in all of the Division community. Astro never asks for thanks or credit. He just does it. I, for one, think it's about time that we thank Astro. Astro actually learned his genius plays in Destiny, so I'm sure he has some amazing tidbits in there as well. Oh yeah, kill him. Get your guns real quick. Oh yeah! Yes. Fuck that guy. Multiple <laughs> 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 Easy Bruh, baby, one easy fucking try. first try dude. <laughs> what the so fuck? Easy. Head, head. You gotta change builds. Yep, it's changing. I don't die. Got him. Yeah, on you, you gotta go, you gotta go. You on me. I'm running down. I'm taking you. Oh, dude. Got it, got it, got it. Let's go! Yes! <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. Let's go! It's over! Oh. It's over! Oh, let's go! Let's go! The loot! Show me the loot! Oh. It's over! Oh. It's over! Let's go! Vigilance! Oh. Vigilance and a crit! Let's go! Jeez. I don't have that much damage, that as you arm? can see. Get the arm. Going straight for you. On. On HP. I'm a shot. Let's go! Yes. Get the rocket. Fucking go, boy! Go! Uh, ah. Holy shit. No no decoy final round. No decoy. Holy Let's God, go! Dude. No decoy! Oh, oh, oh God, my it. gosh, dude. No decoy. Oh. Let's oh. go. Oh, oh God. Where to start with Luna? Luna is probably the friendliest, most approachable person ever. If you are in his stream, you are his best friend. Beyond genuine, helpful, polite, so modest it kind of hurts your soul. And then you watch him play, ruthlessly accurate, exceedingly calculating, and always 10 steps ahead. It's like someone created a 3000 IQ oh, murder bot and then gave it the personality of a Care Bear. Luna is just not a god tier player, he's also a god tier person. He has created Vroom, a free space for all players. Although a hub for mostly speedrunners, it's free for all. And an absolutely brilliant place to learn from quite literally the best players in the world. And that's not even close to an exaggeration. Pretty much every world record holder in the game, across all platforms, is in Vroom. They track and monitor so many things in the game, they literally have their own website on it. Luna and many others in LFN 
and Vroom work tirelessly behind the scenes creating the meta which we all use. Yes, that's another thing. Vroom makes the meta, testing each and every oh interaction and teaching all those that would listen the varying nuances and interactions hidden in the game. Oh God. Hey yo, what's up, Ryan Mask? How you doing? Yeah, I should be good. Final signs. Zero. Shotgun are running at us. Yep, yeah, dead. Broken. Almost got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Shotgun in middle left. Half stack. Rocket left. Rocket left. Um, half stack. Rocket left. Rocket left. Rocket left. Rocket right, left. Right. That's good enough. We got the rocket. Someone else has to kill. That's the key. Rocket left. Someone else has to kill. I got him, I got him. Clear ads, clear ads. I can't solo kill much ads. He's in. He's in. I can kill from the other side, but not like through the door. Okay. Danny, I need your help. Broken. That's rocket. Dead. Oh my god. Sorry, I just got it. I got it. Anyway, that is my list of probably the most influential players and best places to learn in the game right now. Though there are many more, I simply could not name them all. I would again like to say a huge thank you to all of you for allowing me the opportunity to do this. On a personal note from me, honestly, thank you to each of you for imparting your knowledge and wisdom onto me. You have. Each of you helped me in ways that I could never find on the typical channels on the internet. And for those watching this, each of these people deserve to be followed. They are 100% better than me and know so much more than I do. I've essentially given you the cheat code to make me redundant. And in my personal opinion, these are the best content creators in the game right now. Bar none. Anyway. Sorry for the exceedingly long video. I wish you all well. Have fun. Good luck. And don't die. It's bad for the health. That's the play right here. That's the play. We tried versatile, but swapping back and forth and trying to time the swap for the five second buff is like such a pain. And I don't want to be getting out of my sniper scope at all. Like I want to just be like chilling in my sniper scope, uh, being able to just spam him in the body and stuff while I'm waiting. And so we we yeah, Sharky and I. He, Sharky talked to us about it, like we were talking to him last night, and that was his thought too. And I tried it, and then we decided we weren't gonna use like Dodge City combo on a bunch of stuff, and uh, decided to scrap it and go back to Companion. But might as well just use them. First Digi at this point. Does it work if you headhunter one and snipe him? Nah, it's not enough damage. Not enough damage. Plus, the setup of that is like kind of annoying. But yeah, we need like sustained damage here, which is why it's problematic. It's not just a one shot to kill him with the headhunter. Immediate medical. I mean, we could always try it and see how much we can chunk him for. But I'm not sure it'd be value if I have to. Um, like if it doesn't strip his entire armor set off and I can like dodge city him or something, then it's like not worth. We could try it. We've just been getting so close with this strat that I feel like this is probably just the best approach to stick to this for now. But Pestilence? Oh lord. Pain damage. That's Whoa. enough, I think. So. That's, rather, that's a rather sus comment there. Okay, I need to escape the door. Holy shit. As soon as I get him into health loon and you give me your last pulse you can give me and you start build swapping, by the way. Yep. Like, you just have to guess which pulse is your last and then swap. And book it out of there. Yellow. Nothing third. Nothing red yellow. Dropping Nothing second. yellow. Nothing yellow blue. Nothing second either. What the fuck? Serious trauma detected. Got one. 
Tossing my turret might be uh, delayed. Be careful on checking boxes. Found the last one. Sniper's up. One. Sniper's one HP going entrance. Set. Oh wait. Oh, he didn't hit all three. What the fuck? Run back up. Good. Fuck, hit all three. On. I'm gonna need to grab one. another one. Got two. Last one's on my left. Got three. Is this guy not throw his turret anywhere? Pressing. The ads are all over red side, bro. Holy. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch those cubs till later. Done. I'm on my last cog. Oh wait, my skill. Oh, I, I don't have Achilles for this. Part. All done. You're gonna break. Breaking open. Oh, game, why you do this to me? I'm changing build. Pulling an RPG. Both RPGs ground. down. Moving towards. I'll pick up close one to me. Okay. Next one spawned out red yellow. A lot of ads on me. I'm a little in danger here. A lot of ads on that rocket over there. You gotta be really safe. Check rocket also next age. to my decoy to the left. By, it's by the other rocket on the ground. I got the one on rocket top behind you. Okay, kill that one. Kill that one. Grab any other rocket. The other, there's an alive rocket on the past rocket I just grabbed here okay. on red. Um, Careful, there's a lot of ads, a lot of ads, a lot of ads. That's second gun, right? Yeah. Yep. I got next rocket ad on me. Did you Kill get your rocket out of there? Yep. Okay, just that's yours to, to shoot. I'm taking this one up. We got blue here, which is kind of nice. Letters is Alpha up, Bravo down, Charlie up, Delta down. Next set, Echo up. Next set, Juliet up, Lima down. Last set, Mike down. 
done. Throwing turret. Two rocket ads are on platform. Leave them there. If they're on platform, that's okay, I think. As long as they're not far out. Problem. Oh, fuck me. That's a party. Whatever. Oh. Holy fuck. Recharging. I'm rotating to the right because the rockets are there. Ag broken. Switching pieces. Rip head. Getting pulse. Head ripped. Just keep DPSing for now. Last one in five seconds. One. Zero. Pulse. Ag. Dude. Ag RNG just ripped us again. Change builds. Yep, it's changing. If I don't die. Got him. I told you. <laughs> Get on you, you gotta go, you gotta go. I'm running down. I'm taking yellow. I'm decoying your red. I'm decoying your red. I have a ton of ads here. Decoy your red. Reset blue. Oh, I don't know if I'll make Going it to, to red yellow. Do what you can. Running through. Reset yellow. I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, dude. Got it, got it, got it. Let's go! Yes! Fucking hell, dude. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The little show the balloon. It's over. It's over. Let's go! Vigilance. Vigilance and a crit, let's go! Jesus. Jock it up! Jock it up! GG's dude! Oh, oh my, my god! god. It's over!